Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about the LXI component of the LCM model. LXI meaning learner experience interactions. Now, we have already gone through two learning dialogues on LXI. What we'll do differently in this learning dialogue on LXI is, I'm going to share my experiences as a MOOC instructor and also share with you experiences that other faculty have shared when they have applied LCM in their MOOC courses or in their online courses like in a flipped classroom. So let's get started. Now if you are a MOOC instructor or if you are designing the online component of your flipped classrooms, you would know that there are three types of interactions through which learning happens in an online setting. So what is the first one? The first one is very obvious. It is the learner content interaction where the learner is sitting in front of the computer and interacting with your learning dialogues or attempting a quiz in your course. The second type of interaction is the learner instructor interaction. So what happens in this instruct interaction is that the learner is interacting with the instructor either in the discussion forum or through the interactive sessions like you have experienced in this course. And what is the third type of interaction through which learning can happen in a MOOC? Yes, it is the learner-learner interaction or the peer interaction in a MOOC. Now, if you ask any MOOC instructor, they will tell you that the learner-learner interaction is very important avenue for learning in case of a MOOC. So let's pause here and do this reflection spot activity. Pause the video and write down one reason why you think learner-learner interaction in a MOOC is important. Once you are done answering the question, then only resume this learning dialogue. So welcome back from the reflection spot. I hope you have written down your reason as to why the learner-learner interaction is important in a MOOC. Let me guess some of your answers. Some of you may have said that learner-learner interaction is important because suppose you are a MOOC learner and you need feedback on the solution you have generated. If you post it in the forum, then there is probability of one of your peers or a course mate coming and giving you feedback on your solution. So this is a very important learning avenue in a MOOC where the instructor is not so readily available as in a classroom setting. And when such a interaction happens between peers, what happens is it reduces or removes the sense of isolation for a MOOC learner. Another possibility that May, you may have written is that a learner gets exposed to a diverse set of opinions or a diverse set of ways to solve the same problem if they are going through the discussion forum posting. That's also a very important avenue for learning in a MOOC setting. So this is the summary of the benefits of learner-learner interaction in a MOOC setting. This is a necessary condition for a learner-centric MOOC now, so far you have heard what I have told you about my experience of why this is important. Let's see what research says about the importance of peer interaction in a MOOC. So, research says that peer interaction leading to peer learning is among the top five factors that influences learner engagement with the course. And that is such an important metric as an instructor, right, to bring in engagement of the learners with the course. But do you think having a discussion forum available in an online course is enough to bring in learners in the forum? So no, right? The forum itself is just a affordance or a feature of your system. Research says that you have to have well-designed structured activities around the discussion forum to bring in the learners into the forum.